Hi! Zeus Pantera, Z Reviews, also Inner Fetish, Second Channel, Patrons and Subscribers, Star Subscribers, thank you. And, um, this is the Shanling H7. And I have a ton of, like, daps waiting in the wind to go. I got a Fio, I got a Hibby, got a Shanling, got another Shanling, got another Hibby, got an Ibasso. And all those daps are great. I've used maybe half of them, and they, they all do their thing. But I decided to do this first, because I'm going to reference this in every DAP video. Because this is a better system in my mind. So, this is a DAC amp. And wait, let me... If one, do I have it over here? Is it over here? Do you live here anymore? No, you're on the table. It is a Bluetooth DAC amp. Now, we've had a couple of these sorts of things. Well, here's an actual player. Where is my big... Son of a bitch. I mean, all right, this is a good example. We'll take you. Come with me, Charizard. This is the IFI Griffin. The IFI Griffin is actually cheaper than this Shanling. The Shanling is not cheap. The IFI Griffin has all the outputs. You've got your selection, you've got your, your bass boost, and you've got your outputs and your inputs. And it connects via Bluetooth or via USB to your device, and then you can play music. And that's great. And I've always, I've long since said that like LDAC is pretty much as good as it ever needs to get as far as like transmitting Bluetooth audio. So how do you go one step further than this, but before you get to a full DAP with a screen running Android? Well, what you do is you put a micro SD card in the back of this so it can host its own music, but to avoid putting a screen in Android, all you have is this little tiny, like, hold on, I got the goddamn camera. There's a little tiny progress bar screen where you could adjust things. And then you have a Bluetooth app, which actually, if I turn that knob, hold on. If I turn that knob, you can see it controls here. So we've got the Shandling app, which I'm going to complain about for about half this video. But, uh, but, but that is reading off the data that's in here hard, so there's no Bluetooth loss, it's lossless flack being pumped through the DAC amp. And in this particular scenario, right now as we're looking at it, I'm not actually outputting from the front of it from its its balanced or unbalanced outputs, I'm outputting from the full-size RCAs into the topping I-90, into the HG8XX, onto my head, and then I hit next track. And then I turn this knob. And now we're listening to music. Now, we're in a perfect scenario right now. Everything's working. The app will pause. We can switch inputs and go to the computer, which is being fed into this, by the way, with fiber optic or coaxial digital. Look at the coaxial digital wire they provide. This thing is fucking gorgeous but I've got it on an extension and a giant barrel connector I found somewhere. And you could run it off a coaxial digital or a fiber optic with one of these adapters. If you've never seen these adapters, you could take a normal fiber optic cable and basically make it into a 3.5 millimeter cable with the little little red light comes out the end and I have that plugged into the, right, let's look at the unit. Let's look at the unit. Let's turn that down. Let's unplug the RCAs for a split second. I've got it charging. I don't have to have it charging. The battery life on this, let me just get that out of the way. Not as high as you'd want it to be. You'd think for a unit of, for $800, it would last 20 hours. It lasts eight balanced output. It has high, low, and medium gain, so that will affect it. How violent the music you're listening to will affect your battery life? I think I should do a test on that. That feels like a little bit of a science experiment. And, you know, other things. So they say claim eight balanced and 10 hours single-ended. Where's my wiping rag? I need a wipey rag. Oh, yeah. Got to keep these things clean. So here's the unit. It is a chonker. Look at the, the size of that. That is, it is not small. It's, it, it dwarfs the Griffin in both length, width, and girth. It is a girthy motherfucker. Put that back down. Oh, Griffin. Um, the back is interesting because you've got the full-size RCA outputs. You've got your digital in, which is a 3.5 millimeter port. Digital in, so you can't plug a, a regular headphone adapter in there. You have to plug either this with fiber optic or this mono with coaxial digital. It's nice they provide that. You get two USBs, a USB slash DAC. So you'd plug this in if you want to hook it up to your computer directly as a USB or with the provided adorable wire. 
Oh, look at the adorable little wire. It's really nice quality wire with a little short stubby. You could put your phone on the other end of this and then you're stupid. Stop being stupid. That's stupid. Don't do that. This thing is too big to have like one fucking item. Let's drop that. And then you have your USB charge and up there is your micro SD card. And when I got this unit, I didn't, I don't do research because the less I know, the more excited I can get. And when it showed up and I saw micro SD, I'm like, is that for like firmware updates? And then I put it one with music in it and it was like, oh, I'm going to play that music. And I'm like, <sighs> also, I want to just state that it has been a fucking long time since I've been excited about a design feature. Like when someone reviews a phone, I'm never like interested because a phone is a piece of glass with some buttons. That's it. There's no interesting things. If you ever watch uh, uh, Techmoan, when he does like mini disc players and back in like the early 2000s and they all had like cool screens and features and knobs and things like that one thing that's when things were cool and this sort of brings that back so the back is relatively sane then the front comes up and you've got two knobs both digital both with clicky clicks and you got your outputs in the middle of your full size quarter inch because why the fuck wouldn't you have a full size quarter inch <sighs> 3.5 and 4.4 Pentacon. And then up here, you have a screen. And it's not a, it's not that size screen. It's just that sliver. It's a sliver screen, I'm going to call it. And you know what the cool thing is? Also, if you go into the menu, we can rotate that screen 180 degrees so that it works like this. Instead of like this. I kind of wish it knew. Like if it's, if it's sitting flat on the table, it reads in this direction. And then it feels if it's standing up. And then it would read. But then again, if you're looking down on it in your pocket and you want to read it, no. So they have to have it through the menu. Um, I'm kind of infuriated by this unit also. We'll get to that. Um, I don't like the fact that the MQA logo and the two high-res things are on like a glass plate. I believe this is where this is glass, this is glass, and this is glass. One of these has to be where the Bluetooth exits the unit because you can't make a solid metal box and have Bluetooth ever fucking work. Um, by the way, link to the mouse pad in the description because it's big titty uh, wolf girl, I think. Um, so what I'm going to do later on after this review, maybe, is I've got this perfect sticker of the sisters from Two Love Rue. I'm just going to be like, watch this, watch this. You ready? Oh, it's like that glass doesn't even exist. It's like that glass doesn't even exist. So anime stickers, again, coming to the rescue. Oh, I will say this, and I didn't know this until today sitting down. This comes in fucking titanium as well. Look how pretty the fucking titanium version looks. Uh, black boring, titanium, amazing. So I would have preferred to get the titanium version, but you know, life sucks and then you die. Oh God, it looks so good. Um, let's talk about how you actually navigate this unit because you're gonna have a bad time regardless of who you are, regardless of how many times you watch this video, you, if you're using it as a Bluetooth device, just straight up, like like you would an IFI Griffin or BTR7, you just on or an I or I was trying to find the X Duo. The one I was trying to compare directly to is like the X Duo XD05 because it's around the same size. But if you turn it on with the power button here, you hold all right, hold the right side power volume down, turns on, and then it starts up and it says here it says PCM441. M for medium gain, and we're at 68, 69 volume, and it has a battery indicator on the right, and our battery is just slightly off the top. This is it playing from the SD card. Let's plug in, I've got two sets of headphones out that I don't use nearly enough. My 8XXs on the LA90, and the beautiful atriums. Oh, fuck. Link to the atriums in the description with brainwave pads. And we put this on. And, and we, we put that on. Oh, did it do it? Did it break already? It may have broken already. And we turn, let's see, where are we? 55 up. Where's my play pause? All right, so we're paused because I plug something in, it pauses. You press in the power button to unpause. Now playing, I'm gonna lower it so it doesn't get me copyright matched. It doesn't say what it's playing. Even though it has a screen that would fit the, the characters, like the words, it doesn't say it. So you just know it's a PCM file 441. I want to change tracks. You turn this knob once. Next track. Turn it backwards. Plays last track. 
So, okay. And you could turn this knob. It doesn't show any information about the track. Not the length, not changing track. You just have to, that, that progress bar just goes back to the beginning. There's a little tiny progress bar here that moves across that this is obviously a short ass song because it's moving rather rapidly. You get no information. I was hoping for a firmware update that would be like, hey, you could turn this on. What they want is you to use the app. Problem is the app disconnected already. I tried using this in my car. Don't. So, okay, play. Nothing's happening. We're not connected. We're using the SD card. I'm going to go into the Shanling app, and I'm going to go down here to Sync Link, which you have to turn on in the menu, and I'm going to hit the Shanling H7. Successfully connected. Fantastic. First step by Hans Zimmer. There we go. We are now communicating. You can see exactly what it is. So I've got a card in here with like 20,000 songs on it. All flack, all ready to go. And you would think that it would be super easy to like navigate it. But the actual, if I go back to the home of this and I go to all songs, these aren't the songs on the thing. None, none of these play. It just says file not found because these are the songs somewhere else. Well, you do have to go to sync link, turn that on, and then you have to go sync link again, connected devices, disconnect, no. Then you go to the bottom and it says what it's playing. And then if you want to hit next track, you can do that. But if you want to see a list of all the tracks, you have this little fucking thing. No song is now in now playing list. What do, you, what do you mean? Now it's completely broken. Next. Great. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because what would happen is you would hit this button and a little tiny list would pop up about this high. Every song in alphabetical order. And there's no jumping. There's just scrolling this little this thing of like 10 tracks like up. Why it's not working out, I don't fucking know. This app is buggy. And it's, it's. I mean, we can go and we can, we, we can't, oh, we can heart something now. Last time we couldn't even heart anything. There are 6,125 tracks. I lied. I have a different SD card I put in here, which is slightly smaller. So now we're listening to the Beach Boys. Great. So now here's what you got to remember real hard. Pushing this in turns on the screen, then pauses. That's another thing. The pushing in of the power button, if the screen sleeps after however many seconds, it no longer reacts to pause. It reacts to turn on screen. Then you have to pause. I think if I leave it alone long enough, it'll turn off the screen, and then I'll have to turn on the screen and then unpause. Pressing the left control, which is, remember, that's for the next track. We, we, we turn it, and next track happens. Oh, wait, we turn it, it wakes up the screen. Then next track happens. Okay. When you push this in, it's what you switch your input. So if I accidentally either forget or while I'm trying to turn it, I push. Oh, UAC 1.0. Now it's on USB mode. That hasn't broken yet. It will. So now it says PC one volume twenty five. So I'm like, what, what? Why is my music? What, what, why am I not hearing my music? Because I didn't realize I pushed this button in. That should be in the menu. Switching the input should not be something you could easily do. I feel like on this unit, you're not going to want to go. You, it's USB, Bluetooth, optical, coaxial, and then it doesn't say card. It just says paused PCM forty four one, and a progress bar. Oh, it broke. So if you accidentally and then go around, your link to the app now breaks. Did I mention I love the way this unit sounds? It's $830. It's a Shandling product. And it's an $800 Shandling product that doesn't have to waste money on Android licenses or screens. It's 1.3 watts per channel. And whenever you get it to fucking work... By the way, here's a list of everything I have in my Bluetooth list. It doesn't just find things it's connected to. It finds your phone's entire Bluetooth list. It's like, is it in here? Hey, why don't we just not make it alphabetical either? For funsies. So luckily the Shanling H7 is down here. I don't even think, this isn't even in the order I connected because the tin buds I haven't connected to in months and yet they're up here. Hey, connected. I think. Okay, it did. It's infuriating. If they work this out, it will be a killer app. Remember when they used to be called the killer app? They don't do that anymore. But 
not having to have, cause I'm gonna have my phone on me and I kinda wanna have this in my back pocket, like shove it right in my ass, plug my headphones into it and then you can you can control the volume directly the hard hardware volume of this and you have if you could have if you could have full access to the there's the list yay konosuba still konosuba okay led zeppelin little witch academia okay cool london grammar there we go lord biting down but there's no way to search i have shuffle on if i didn't have shuffle on it would just be it's so close to perfect. It's so close to perfect. Because, I mean, I could still put this up to my phone via LDAC, and I'd have FUBAR on here that has, you know, its own sorting, and I could look at every fucking song, and I could search, and I could... And it would be fine. But disconnecting it from Bluetooth for actual sound transmission, and just doing control to a phone, and you could just have that sitting there, and you could just do your things, that would be fantastic. I fucking want that. This is perfect. In fact, make it smaller... So I can keep that like in my pants and have it last just as long, a little less power. And then I just want to, I want an app that can control and go through folders and do, it's like a fucking side load where it's like, I can do this, but, but like maybe I shouldn't be. It wants to be the best thing ever. It wants so bad to be the best thing ever. I like, this is a great system when it needs a firmware update. It needs, all right, let's go to the menu. Hit the, hit the sound. Can I tell you how much, oh, like what, you got $2,000 flagships, $10,000 flagships? Plug them onto the H7. Oh, all right, pause, pausing that. Um, let's go into the menu, which I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but you hold this down for two seconds. You hold that down for two seconds to turn it off. You hold this down for two seconds, enter the menu. You have gain, uh, low, medium, and high, and it loops around, so if you turn a lot, it just goes low, medium, high, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. It's still going. Okay, let's go back to medium. You click again. Play mode is either shuffle, loop, list, repeat one, or shuffle. We want shuffle. Then you have your choice of, get this, you have your choice of filters, which I don't hear a difference. I don't know, do you, anybody watching this hear a difference? And it completely writes out the thing. Oh fuck, it took too long. Low dispersion, short delay, sharp roll off, slow roll off, short delay, sharp roll off, short delay, slow roll off, super slow roll off, low dispersion. You can't write the song list, but I could do that. Here's your brightness of your little thing, which if you turn down to the zero, good fucking luck seeing this thing in the sunlight. I had it at like seven, I'm gonna take it to 10. I don't think it's gonna kill your battery. I don't think zero should ever get that low. It should never be so low that even in like moderate room lighting, you can barely see it. So I'm gonna put that shit to 10. Switch mode on. I'm gonna shut switch mode off. I honestly, I don't know what switch mode is. I, I know what a switch is. I've been on the internet, but I'm not not doing it. And I don't know if that switch mode is, I had it off and then I turned it on and nothing changed. I don't know if it's got to do with the RCA outs in the back. Cause maybe it's like switch, I don't, I don't know. Someone tell me what switch mode does. Cause the documentation for this is, is abysmal. Uh, let's finish with this. You get a beautiful fucking balance control. Look at that. You get to move that little arrow left and right. Oh, it's so nice. It feels so good to have that in like a device. This is like that mini disc shit I'm talking about. Where, yeah, you could adjust the balance on a phone, but having like an actual thing that moves a cursor around is so fucking nice. This could also have some views on it. And then sync link on, which is what we're using to connect to the goddamn thing, which you could turn that off or on. And then rotate. Here's your rotation. There's 180, so that means the screen is now here. So now if we go through the rest of it, auto off after 30 minutes, two hours, as high as two hours, as short as 15 minutes. I have about a half hour. It means if nothing's playing to it, it'll turn off. The battery is not big enough to, to let it go further than that. You can do a system update, which you put so, uh, firmware on the micro SD card, and then finally uh, reset to reset all the settings, and then you're back and then version 1.4, and then back to gain. So now it's now it's set up like this. So it's it's got a competent menu for a few things, and I love the I love the little display, man. I love it. I, the odds, like who even makes this display anymore? It's so cool. 
and then it sounds so good. Like this is at least a $1,500 player's worth of sound coming out of this. I'm probably bringing this unit, as fucking annoying as it is, to Can Jim New York to be my source. Probably. We'll see. I've got I got a couple more daps I gotta play around with, and maybe one of those will just be like, all right, never mind, fuck it, this. Those would be a lot easier. Cause it would just be like, is it on? Is it playing? Plug a thing in. Cool. Don't deal with my phone. Don't fuck with my phone. And I don't really need it. Like, here's the thing. If you're okay with this shuffling shit, this is fine. Cause then you don't have to worry about the app. Except for the fact when you accidentally hit the button down and you oh, I switched inputs. Whoopsie doodle. And now it's on USB and now it's on Bluetooth and now it says L connected. Oh, we also have three LEDs here. Charge, kilohertz, and MQA. There are. Let me see if I get back around to... Um, yeah, I know. USB. If I get around to Bluetooth, I think it connects to LDAC now. Let's see if I minimize this. Go, go away. Bluetooth. It's still playing out of that. So wait, wasn't it just, it just connected to LDAC. Go in here, go to Bluetooth, Shanling H7, says it's a paired device, go back out. Now that's my phone playing Madonna. <sighs> anyway, it will light up these things, different killer, different colors or different kilohertz. It's all written in the manual. Charge indicator. It's, I like the UI. It's super cute that they're trying to do this like little tiny thing. Like this has a screen in it. Actually, this is a, a better, because this has an actual screen in it, which apparently you can get a dragon to fly across it. You can get a griffin to fly across if you hold down a certain combination. I did not know this. Um, we've got X Space 2 on. So they've all got like, that's very dull. LDAC PCM, actually this is probably playing off my phone, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna plug this for a second. I just gotta. God, that was loud. Oh yeah, and X space is definitely on. Oh no. God, this sounds good too. But it's playing over Bluetooth, and this doesn't need to play off of Bluetooth. That's the benefit of this. This I could actually plug into a fucking fiber optic input. Oh, we're upside down. Oh god, it reverses the fucking- Oh god, I didn't realize that. It reverses the volume knob direction because it's upside down. So this way is down and that way is up. That was very, very ungood right there for a split second. Look, I have a lot of faith in Shanling and I want this to be my primary source of like just plug it in. I have a bunch of music on there. It's all high res. It's not getting compressed. I can just control it on the phone. And it's so close. We're so fucking close. There just needs to be an app update uh, and maybe some firmware and then we're golden. Cause it could read the list of songs. You saw it. I was scrolling through it. It just needs that list to be searchable and like a, a, a progress bar where I could jump to a letter. I don't even care if you let me not dick around in the fucking, in the, in the, the file directory. Just let me fucking get to a song I want to get to without that. Anyway, I love this thing. I'm going to put a sticker on it. I don't put stickers on things I don't love. And then if I sell in the yard sale, you guys get it with a sticker on it. But that's your, that's your, that's your prerogative. You bid on it. Um, Shanling, thank you for sending this. And whoever else actually sent it. I think it was Shanling Direct, which means I can link all the websites. But we'll find out when I check all my emails because it's been a while. Uh, oh, the most important thing, this bag. You see this bag? This is the nicest feeling bag of any audio product I've ever gotten in the history of this channel, which is nearly 10 years at this point. This thing just, just like, just, just, can you feel it with me? And I've had some nice sacks in my hand and this is the nicest sack. So there's that. We good. Everything's been talked about. I've used the headphones. I could pull it out. I could swap it to these. Uh, it's much less powerful out of single-ended, but that's fine for like lower, lesser IMs. I still didn't need to put these on high gain using the quarter inch. I was still able to run them on medium. So 
Shanling, fix those few things. There's just a couple things you need to fix, please. And then me and Asuka can fill our backpacks. Look, it's a perfect size backpack for this thing. And she can have it there and earphones on. She's got that stupid shit in her hair. I don't know what that's doing. Maybe those are like bone conduction, but there's shouts music into her skull. It's almost perfect. It's, it's exciting. This is an exciting piece of gear because it's different. I want it to be great. Now I'm going to go back to reviewing daps and they're going to work perfectly and sound great and be convenient. <sighs> There's no excitement there, man. You want this. Anyway, thank you for supporting this channel by both watching it, clicking like, adding a comment, and then subscribing, and then being patrons and subscribe to our subscribers. If you do all that shit, we can stay in business. If you don't, then bye. But um, yeah, patrons and subscribers, our subscribers get to see these reviews early, sometimes up to two weeks, depending on how lazy I get and if the buffer runs out. Um, you get to participate in yard sales where you saw my table back there where I got the Griffin. It's just shit. And I'm like, you know what? I probably don't need three of these. And I put them in the yard sale from the 1st to the 10th of every month and we'll ship uh, half price international and free to Canada and USA. Uh, you also get to listen to sound demos, which are gone from YouTube. The ones that exist, I'm leaving there until they get copyright striked and then I'm fucked. But new ones are available on private Telegram concerns for patrons and subscribers our subscribers. So you can listen to the sound demos for all modern headphones and speakers and get a lossless download of the audio from that, not of the music, because we don't do it. We only use copyright free music everywhere. That's correct, right, guys? Right? Right. Um, that's all for five dollars a month and then for ten dollars a month you get in the private behind the scenes telegram chat which you get to ask me any questions you'd like if you're putting together a system if you want to know if this is compatible and you can ask not just me but all the other people who have uh paid ten dollars to basically have me answer their questions but really a lot of times they answer my questions so i need you guys to help me also pay me to help me um and if you're in that you get into a lifetime swap me channel where you can buy sell and trade gear uh, I don't kick anyone out of it, so there's over 320 members just just buying, selling, and trading gear with each other. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, yeah, that wallpaper is available in the hoard. The hoard links below. I actually did a review of the software that, that uses in the on the second channel called Roselio Sync. So if you want to find my Zio second channel, click my link tree. There's no OnlyFans in the link tree. I try, I legit tried, and they said no because my face isn't on my Twitter, and I'm like, that's the whole point. People have OnlyFans for their dogs. I think I should get one. Here's my license. Here's my face. Here's my big dick. <coughs> Never mind. Um, I'm ending this review. Thank you. Sorry that it got so long, but I I want to love this. If this is These are the reviews that Zia's like, Zia's, you love everything. Yeah. I'm disappointed at the same time, though. I'm, I want it to fucking work. I want it in titanium, too. But it's like, I just want you to work the way I dream. Don't forget to click the mouse wallpaper. This for the for hawk, fox girl. Anyway, I'm done. Are you done? I'll see ya. What was this? 32 minutes? Let me check. 28. We can go another two minutes. At least another two minutes. Mm -hmm.